kick coming. Think of the poor horse. Oh, is that so? Well, of all the fool expeditions we've ever been on, this is the worst. Chasing a wagon show clean across Arizona. Well, that's a right good outfit. And besides, there's nothing wrong with wanting to see a show more than once. More than once? Seven towns in eight nights, not including Sundays. That's the life. What are you talking about? Well, what's the use of spending your life chasing doggies over hills? You sure are an arbitrary critter. Singing will never make you a living. Maybe not. But I sure get a lot of fun out of trying. Hey. There's the show up ahead there. Something must be wrong. You owe the liver stable a seven dollar feed bill. And you owe the town hall two dollars for coal oil. Uh, that's the lights. And you owe a twelve dollar board bill at Jim Carter's eating house. And you owe a ten dollar fee for making me ride out here to get you. Yeah. Well, uh, that seems to amount to about uh, twelve dollars, doesn't it? Yes, about twelve. Huh? Your calculation is just a little bit off, ain't it? It amounts to exactly thirty-one dollars. Well, now we've done such bad business the last week or two, Sheriff, it's sort of eaten up all our ready cash. Now, uh, I think if you let us get onto Tombstone, we'll be able to pay the bill in full. You ain't gonna get to Tombstone. Unhitch them team, John. Right. I reckon they're more than up to cover what you owe. Uh. Howdy, Professor. What's the trouble, Sheriff? This here show here has got a lot of unpaid bills that amounts to exactly $31. And I'm impounding them their teams until McGill pays up. Well, you can't do that. Are you trying to tell me what I can do and what I can't? Well, I'm, I'm mighty sorry that business has been so bad, sir. But they'll do all right in Tombstone. They ain't gonna get to Tombstone. I'm afraid the Sheriff's right, my boy. Well, maybe I could square things with the sheriff. That is, if, if you wouldn't mind. Why, but I... Uh... You know, I, I've i always had a hankering to, to be in a show. I was just wondering if I'd uh, pay the sheriff off. Uh, maybe you could find a place for me in your troupe. You know, I uh, play the guitar a little. And, well, I don't know if you'd like my voice or not, but I'd sure appreciate a chance. I'm, I'm, I'd be glad to see what you could do, but I... I couldn't allow you to, uh... Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Sheriff, if you just mark that bill paid now, mm. I'll be mighty pleased to. Ida, our luck seems to be changing. Poor fellow. He's just throwing his money away. I'm sorry to cause you into trouble like this. But the law's the law. Come on, John, let's get going. I'm mighty grateful to you, young man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Uh, my name's Mallinson, Tex Mallinson. 
This is Mr. Hopper, but uh, you can call him Grass for short. Oh, Tex. How do you do, Mr. Hopper? How do you do? Boys, meet Mr. Tex Mallinson and Mr. Grass Hopper. Nice to meet you. How do you do? They're joining up with us. Glad to have you with us, boys. Thank you. Let's get going, men. Well, let's be on our way. I'm a howling fool from Texas with a six gun in my pack. I eat rattlesnakes for breakfast, my coffin's on my back. Got a bobcat for a partner and we get along so black. I sharpen my teeth on tombstones just to pass away the time. Tombstone, Arizona, soon I'm gonna see. It's a pretty night rope, but if I don't choke, I'll sing a joke till I fill my poke. In Tombstone, Arizona. You're laying it on kind of thick, ain't you, Professor? <laughs> Them are pretty big letters. You think I can live up to all that? A mere bagatelle, my boy. With myself as impresario, your success is assured. Well, them mighty big words, Professor. But you know, the Tex, he's a cowhand. He, he ain't no actor. My good man, I am a thespian. And to one who has trodden the boards with the immortal boon, nothing is impossible. Well, well, maybe you could do something for me then. Now, now, now listen to this. <laughs> Well, I, I guess these horses don't appreciate good music. You shouldn't have frightened them. You might have killed Billy. I don't get so I'm right. It was fine. Uh, I think you need a little more practice, my good man. Just a little more practice. Say, mister, are you a play actor? Well, uh, uh, sort of. Well, what do you do? Well, I, I play a guitar and... Uh, I make funny noises with my mouth. Oh, you mean you're a singer. Well, uh, some people call it that. If you don't sing any better than you play the trombone, I don't think we'll go to the show. Oh, but Marge, we've been counting on this. We gotta go. Well, son, if your... Uh, if your mother won't take you, I'll see what I can do. Ah, oh, she ain't my mother. She's only my sister. And if she won't take me, I'll tell on her. That's what Dad brought us to town for. Yeah. Where is your father? Oh, he's down to Miss Saloon. Billy, you might explain to the man that father's there on business. Oh, yeah, my dad's the county commissioner. He has a whole lot of business. Well, if you'll pardon me, I seem to have some business of my own. I'll see you later. Hey, hey, hey! Haven't you done enough damage with that horn? Oh, well, Tex, it slipped that time. I can do much better. Now, listen to this. <laughs> All right, Grant. All right, Grant. Uh, that's plenty. Well, I was just getting warmed up. I haven't started yet. I just wanted enough to attract their attention, not frighten them away. Well, well Tex, I was just going to play them a tune. Uh, not now, Grant. Later. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Step in closer, please. Don't be afraid. Just a little closer. That's fine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight you're going to see one of the greatest shows ever presented in Tombstone. One of the finest aggregations of talent ever presented on any stage. Brought together by that famous impresario, Professor McGill. Flanked by one of the finest troops of entertainers ever seen west of Dodge City. Not now? Uh, not now, Grace. Uh, later. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. The line forms to the left. Have your money ready, and Professor McGill himself will greet you. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Fifty cents. One half of a dollar. Don't be bad. That's right. Everybody goes in tonight. Not now, Dick. Uh, not now, Grace. Wait till we get this bunch on the inside. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Come right in. Fifty cents. Have your money ready. One. One, please. Uh, good evening, miss. Uh, I've been expecting you. I couldn't disappoint Billy. 
He has such a peculiar taste. Has he gone in yet? Uh, well, yes, uh, about ten minutes ago. Perhaps I'd better join him. He must be alone there all by himself. Well, how are we doing, Professor? Business is excellent, my boy. We've already taken in over two hundred dollars. Well, I guess they're about all in. Time to start. I'll see you backstage. Uh, all right, Grass. Now. But 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 take there ain't anybody around here to hear it. That's the idea. We like your show, we'll pay you. <laughs> On our way out. Professor. I a bunch of ruffians walked in without paying. I tried to stop them, but they threw me on one side. Oh, it's lucky you weren't oh. hurt. Well, well, I'll attend to that later. Let's go on with the show. Hey, Hopper, you make the introduction. Oh, gee, that's swell. Uh, la Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the 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 first number on the program. <laughs> the, 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 the first number on, on the program tonight will will, will be Mr. Uh, Mr. Tex Mouse, the, the the world's greatest uh, vocalist and, and uh, vocalist and guitarist. Guitar the world's greatest vocalist and well, yes. Anyway, he stinks. <laughs> hey, you went over great. Just do that a fall. That's the finest introduction I ever had. Some 
Thank you very much, folks. It's mighty encouraging to a performer, especially to a new one like I am. And just to show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like to do something for you that's a little different from what you usually see in a theater. But I'm going to need the cooperation of every one of you. But I promise that if you do cooperate, you're going to be highly entertained. All right, cowboy, let's have it. All right. Now, every one of you, keep your eyes straight to the front while I walk to the back of the theater and play a few notes on my guitar. And when I play those notes, something very peculiar is, is going to happen. And shall I do it? Yeah, go ahead, sure. All right now, folks. Everybody turn and look at the stage. Are you ready? Yeah. Now every man in the audience raise his hands over his head. I may not be so easy on the next man that reaches for his gun. Now everybody face the stage again. Professor McGill, will you step down here, please? Professor. Will you point out the men that walked into this show without paying? Yes, these are the men. Now, all you folks except these men back here can put on your hands. I'm sorry to trouble you, but uh, these men came into this show without paying. Now, that's not fair to you, and it ain't fair to us. All right, Professor. Collect 50 cents each from these gentlemen. Wait a minute, Mallinson. <laughs> we were just having a little fun. I'll pay for all of us. Well, I'm sure that everybody found your little joke uh, quite amusing. All right, Professor. Take the gentleman's money and we'll go on with the show. Thank you. Let's run him out. Yeah. If you and your partner are not on your horses and riding away from here by the time I count five, You'll be dead men. Well, that's far enough. But I just want to say a few words, Price. Then it's up to you. I'm not paying out any money to feed a lot of thieving politicians up in Tombstone. Is that clear? That's right. That's the way I feel about it. Well, well Harry, that's plenty clear. But there's another matter. And what's that? A few minutes ago, you gave us a count of five to get on our horses and get out of here. Now, I, I still have a little self-respect left, even if I have been talking to a few men who haven't. And I don't aim to be run out of here like a coyote. Well, you're going to be. Shut him up, Harry. Is that all you have to say? No. I understand that you're the fastest man on the draw in this county. Now, uh, I don't have that big a reputation, but I'm willing to take my chances at ten paces with you. Well, shall I oblige the gentlemen, boys? Sure, sure, go ahead. Yeah. Let them have it. I'm a little out of practice, but I'll take a chance. Fine, fine. Uh, but there's just one other matter. Yeah? Uh, of course, if, if you win, they'll be getting a new deputy county treasurer. But if I win, they'll get their back taxes from every one of you. Is that fair? Yeah. You want to gamble? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll stand back to back. Walk ten paces, turn and fire. All right. Pete, you count. Well, maybe you better let Joe do it. All right.
Is all right? So to me. Ready? Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks. I want to thank you boys for agreeing to pay your taxes. Are you gonna pay them? Yeah. You know I'm a man of my word. Come on. Be around to see you in a few days. Yes, Tex. You've done pretty well since you started out. Well, I think I've done pretty good. Of course, some of the boys uh, took a little persuading, but uh, we got them all except Price, and I think we're going after him next. What happened to Harper? Oh, he, he's down at the corral, uh, playing a lullaby to the cows. <laughs> 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 well, if you young folks will excuse me, I think I'll turn in. Come along, Billy. Oh, gee, Pop, can I stay a little while? Tex is going to give me a lesson. All right. Don't you stay out too late. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Mr. Wiggins. Come on, Tex. Let's go see my hideout. Your hideout? Sure, come on. <laughs> well, uh, shall we invite the lady? Well, all right, if you want to. <laughs> yes, sir. It takes years of practice to become an accomplished trombone player. Now you take this piece, for instance. There you go. You're just like all the rest of them. No appreciation. No trespassing, huh, Billy? Nope. Nobody's allowed in here but me. Except on special occasions <laughs> like this. Well... <laughs> Your first lesson goes like this. There's a long, long trail of winding. I've often heard it through. But now. Arizona night 
You all right, Marge? Yes, I'm all right. It looks as if we have visitors. You and Billy better get out of here. I'm going to have a look around. Come on, Billy. Billy! Dex, it... It hurt. Billy! Billy! Expecting a visit from Mr. Mallinson. He's done all the tax collecting he'll ever do. Paid off? Yeah. I paid off. I just saw Mallinson coming into town. Out of here. I'm handling this alone. Prices layout. Hey, perhaps you'd better stay here and uh, uh, look after the horses. All this tax business before somebody gets hurt. It's gonna give me the most genuine pleasure to collect from Mr. Price. He'll probably be laying for you after this. I have a hunch that he'll be a little surprised to see me. Tex. You're just one of those guys that don't know when he's well off. Don't you worry about me, none. Yeah, there's another thing. If... All right, Price. I came to collect. Don't you think you'd better put on away? Might go off. Weren't expecting to see me, were you? Why, sure. We made a bargain, didn't we? Now, what's the matter? Not nervous, are you? You know, I'm just here to see that you pay your taxes. Why, certainly. How much do I... $780.47. By the way, what proof have I that I paid my taxes if you don't happen to turn them in? When I hand you a receipt, you're in the clear. It's up to get into Tombstone with the cash. Oh. Joe, give me the cash bag. Get 
Take your positions, men. Here they come. Wait till they get directly below us. Yeah, I wonder who invited him. Keep your eye on that pet bro. I'll take care of now, sir. I'm going to try and make it back to the ranch. Don't be a fool, Grant. They'll pick you off before you can hit the saddle. We got him, boys. Come on. Right, his gang has got to take ambush up at the pass. Come on, boys. We're riding. Need to worry any more about him. Now we'll do a little tax collection. Open those bags. Hey, this thing's light as a feather. Twenty thousand dollars in those packs. Open them up. It's fake. It can't be. Now it's gonna trick us. That's right. How'd you guess it? Reach for the sky. Toss your guns on the ground. You first. Now you. 
And you! You! All right, Christ. Talk. certainly can't handle that gun of yours. Did they get any of the money? I don't see how they could. Uh, what do you mean? I put it in his barn. That's me. Always using my head. Well, what do we do with him? Uh, you and Hopper take him into Sheriff Higginbotham. I'll go back to your ranch and, and get the money. Well, by the way, uh, there's a rather important question I'd like to ask your daughter. Do you mind? <laughs> Not at all, my boy. You have my blessing. See you later, Hopper. <laughs> well, guess that makes me an orphan. I've owned 10,000 doggies and one old mangy mule. I've blowed a million paces like a crazy on a fool. I've seen the finest gals on earth from silk to crinoline. I've had delirium tremens, but there's nothing I ain't seen. Here's the land is over, soon I'm gonna see. I'm pretty night broke, but if I don't choke, I'll sing and joke till I fill my pumpkin too.
gave me a bride, she's my pride, a wave will ride, side for side. Ooh. 